Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. From November 28th through December 3rd, Flipside Gaming is holding their Black Friday weekend sale. During this time, if you use the Heroes promo code, you will get 15% off all orders over $10, instead of the usual 10%. Also, pre-orders are now open for Theros Beyond Death and collect your booster boxes while supplies last. After the 15% off, draft booster boxes will come to $93.50 and collect your booster boxes will be $318.75. Remember too, shipping is free in the US for singles orders and any order over $10. See the description below for links and details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends with a news update for you today. We're going to be talking about a few different things. Maybe the big headline though is the Pioneer ban list update. Three cards were banned, we'll let you know what those were. Also recently, Wizards revealed a few new promo cards, some of which are going to be included in Secret Layers as a surprise, so more on that in just a second. Quick reminder though, this is the last day that you can save 15% instead of 10% off by using the Heroes promo code on FlipsideGaming.com. It ends at midnight tonight Eastern Time, so if you're still doing some last minute shopping, you might want to check that out. And when you use that promo code, it helps the channel, which is always appreciated. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. We'll begin right off with the Pioneer update. Here's the cards that they banned, and this goes into effect today. The first one is Once Upon a Time, officially banned now in Pioneer. And the reason they gave for this one was simply that ramp decks were still suppressing control and other reactive decks in the format. So these green ramp decks continue to be strong, even though they have taken a lot of bannings. Well, here's one more. The second card was Smuggler's Copter, now officially banned. And the reason for this was Mono Black and other aggro decks have been very strong recently. And there have been a lot of Smuggler's Copters out there in a number of different builds. Field of the Dead is the third and final card that has been banned. And of course, this one you might have saw coming. Those banned Field of the Dead decks have been doing very well. And other variations on that deck too that use Field of the Dead. It's not always just banned. Because of their power, this card took the banning. And the next update is going to be Monday, December 9th, where they may decide to ban more cards again, depending on how things go this week. Okay, on to some promo cards that were announced this week. Here are your 2020 Magic Fest promos. Path to Exile is on top, and there is the land cycle for this year on the bottom. Now, this next one is one of the Heroes of the Realm cards, and I don't typically report on these, but I had to show you this one. These are part of a recognition program for Wizards of the Coast, so if you have a team of employees that do something outstanding, they could receive one of these specialty cards. They are not legal technically anywhere, because obviously they are going to be really, really rare. And this one in particular, though, I just had to show you, because look at this flavor text. Heroes endure, legends prevail. I knew Wizards of the Coast was a fan of the channel. They never said anything, but I knew they were watching. There you go. So anyway... This particular card, if you want to look at it quickly, Soul Advocate Eternal, it costs a green, a white, a blue, a black, legendary creature, Dragon Angel 4-4. It has a legendary partner, Flying Vigilance, and Teamwork. Whenever you attack or block with both Soul Advocate Eternal and its partner, support four and investigate four times. Obviously, the rules text here, kind of a tongue-in-cheek way of saying, hey, thanks for your work, thanks for your teamwork, and what you accomplished. Pretty cool, but like I said, the main reason we're talking about it is that flavor text. All right, so the next group of promos are something you might get your hands on at some point. These are showing up with the secret layers. Now, they did not announce this until yesterday, which surprised me a little bit because I felt like this would have been a pretty big selling point for secret layers, and I don't know why they wanted to wait to the last minute. Granted, it did generate buzz on the day they were trying to sell the complete sets. Maybe that was the theory. But anyway, some of the folks that ordered them in the Seattle area got their packages delivered to them personally by Wizards. They were allowed to open them, and this is what they found inside. So this picture comes from Marshall Sutcliffe, and he posted it on Twitter. In each of the secret layers he opened, there was a foil War of the Spark Planeswalker with new art. And if you remember back to when they did that teaser trailer, they showed the stained glass windows with all the Planeswalkers. Everybody thought that was really cool. And then Wizards had to come out quickly and say, that's not what they really look like. Well, now that is what they look like. That's what these promos are. They have that stained glass art on them. So it's a little hard to see in this picture, but we're going to look at some closer pictures. It does appear that they're random, although all the cat ones that I saw open did have a Johnny. So maybe that's on purpose. Maybe it's just something that happened to happen in the ones I saw. Wizards did clarify that, yes, these are indeed in secret layers, not just the ones they delivered yesterday. But they also said don't expect a certain card in each one. It does feel like, for the most part, these are randomized. 
So these pictures that you're going to see next were from Eric Froelich. He posted his, and there's a Johnny, which came with his cat one. Soren Vengeful Bloodlord he got. Jace Wielder Mysteries is there. You can really see the art on these a little better. There's Nahiri and Teo. Ashiok Dream Render. And he got Nicol Bolas Dragon God too, which is pretty sweet. So ultimately, this is kind of nice. It does increase the value of those packages, definitely. So if you were on the border, maybe you wanted to order it, maybe you didn't. Well, this could push you over the edge for sure. This might have made me more interested if I heard about it ahead of time personally, just because I think these are really cool. All right, so that's your news update for today. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below. Until next time, though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.